YouTube, it's your boy Daxing Reactions coming to y'all. Special PayPal request uh, from Robert Sizing. Um, this is Bet Mittler's um, Fried Eggs Hello in there, 1976. <clears throat> Never heard it. Let me tell you something. I know Bet Mittler for two things Wind Beneath My Wings and Hocus Pocus, okay? I'm not super familiar with Beth Miller. I've done her on my channel, though, of course. Um, she's a phenomenal singer. Um, also, I put a spell on you. Boy, when she did that, um, and I'm talking about the one on Hocus Pocus. Yeah, I love that. <clears throat> I put a spell on you, and now you're mine. You better stop the things that I do. I lie. It's been 300 years. Right down to the day. Now the witch is back. Stop. Let me quit. Quit. Because I'm a big fan of Hocus Pocus. Let's jump into this. Don't forget my Patreon is in the description. We get exclusive access, early content, and special requests. You can do PayPal, Cash App, or um any of that, which is cool for special requests. Um, like I said, I'm I'm playing catch up. Catch up with everything. <clears throat> I'm still. Because they're coming. They're coming. And and like I said before, I'm gonna have to really, really probably make this announcement huge in terms of making sure people understand not to like drown my Twitter and Instagram out with a bunch of you know links to just different stuff because I'm getting it from every direction and sometimes I forget the priority um videos you know what I'm saying of what I'm supposed to be doing during that day so <clears throat> yeah we're gonna jump into this like I said before, make sure everybody is patient because you will be coming up. Now, let's jump into this. <clears throat> Evening this has been, huh? What do you think, ladies? Has this been interesting or what? I give it an 85. I give it 85 out of a possible 100. Yeah. Most of these evenings have been, oh, mm, 60s and 75s. And, but we keep on the road, you know. Uh, I have an interesting, well, maybe you won't find it too. And, well, I don't know. I think you will find it interesting. Uh, this is our first night in Cleveland. We have two more nights to go. Oh, oh shit. She in Ohio. Shout out to my, my state. I feel that way about it at all. I'm ha I like this country. This no, I'm in Cincinnati, which is a city. Cleveland is a city. But shout out to Ohio. On poor general. old baggy country. Oh, this poor thing. This poor country. This is the kind of country you just want to go, oh. Oh. Poor thing is so gutted. Oh. <laughs> Facts. I knew once knew a song about this country. It was a... a oh, actually, it was about the planet. It went, it went here I'm still a spinning... Still a spinning round, turning, ever turning. God, I'm running down. Once I was a virgin, shining virgin queen. Uh, then they came and raped me, or something like that. I don't remember, but it was real heartrending at the time. Well, it was. It still is heartrending. Fuck you. <laughs> well, it is. Yes, that's oh my God, I love this. This is so like authentic. Heartrending at the time. Well, it was. It still is heartrending. Fuck you. <laughs> God damn, I can't stand them when they're inhuman, you know? Right. I just can't stand them when they're inhuman. Fucking machines walking around. I love her. Not funny. Cleveland, the best things in life are here, uh huh. Fucking Cuyahoga called Catching Fire, you should be proud. Bacteria can't even grow in Lake Erie. Mm. Didn't you hear? <laughs> oh God, do something. So is this a this part? This is my town. Is this a part of like, this is, this is her like in character or something, right? <clears throat> oh God, do something. This isn't my town. She can be a comedian. This isn't my beat. I work my own beat. I was walking down 42nd Street one day. I wasn't working. I wasn't working 42nd Street. I was walking. Street. 
I love her. I was walking 42nd Street one day, and this amazing thing happened to me. It was July. No, yes, it was, yeah, it was about July. It was about 89 degrees. It was hot, hot for New York, you know, and I was walking down. I guess I was going to the theater or something. I was working, and I... Once or twice I worked last year. I did. Generally, I can she is so degree, authentic. But times are so rough. Anyway, there I was on 42nd Street taking the short. She just doing her hair, just telling the story. So this is not a... Wait. You know, and uh, the colorful route. <laughs> and uh, it was July. Like I said, it was 89 degrees. And there was a... Kai was going east. And this humongous person was coming west. I mean, it was just... She was just humongous. She must have been 400... 450 pounds and she was an ounce. She was a real big person. And she had this big blue house dress on, pickered all over with white, oh, white daisies, you know? And I said, Jesus, God, look at this person. And I wasn't paying any attention to her, you know, uh, except for the fact that when, when I, you know, when I, I scanned her, I did my camera pan from, you know, up. And there was, uh, sitting on the top of her head, she was almost bald, but sitting on the top of her head, forehead, you know, on her forehead was this fried egg, which I thought was really unusual. Because in New York City, the ladies with the fried eggs on their heads don't generally come out until September or October, you know. Here was this, this lady, this demented lady with a little fried egg on her head in the middle of July. God. This is all going into a song, I'm assuming. And ever, ever since that, I guess you got your own set of fried egg ladies. You, they probably carrying something different, though, you know. Ever since I, I'm glad she's telling this story because if this is leading into a song, now we would understand what fried eggs hello in there means. Like, all that lady, I not one day goes by, I don't think of her, and I say to myself, Oh God. Don't let me wake up tomorrow and want to put a fried egg on my head. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Then I say real fast, I say, oh, God. If by chance I should happen to grow a fried egg on my head, I should wind up with a fried egg on my head. Because sometimes you can't help those things, you know? You can't. A fried egg. I say to myself real quick, I say, don't let anybody notice. <laughs> and then I say real, real fast after that, if they do notice that I'm carrying something that, that's not quite right and they want to talk about it, let him talk about it, but don't let him talk so I can hear. Wow. I don't want to hear it, because the truth about fried eggs, you can call it a fried egg, you can call it anything you like, but everybody gets one. Some people wear them on the outside. Some people, they wear them. On the inside. This is a very different... Like, did she write this? Like, seriously. But y'all know... Some deep songwriting or poetry or... We all got one. We had an apartment in the city. Me, me and my husband, we liked living there. Wow. It's been years and years... Since the kids have grown a lifetime of their own, they left us alone. Oh, I'm getting something. And John and Linda, they live in Omaha. And Joe, he's somewhere on the road. You know, we lost Davy in the Korean War. Why is this is almost getting me, like, this is almost very emotional. And Joe, he's somewhere on the road. 
We lost Davy in the know, Korean War. We lost Davy in the Korean War. I still don't know what for. Don't matter anymore. Mm. Don't matter. You know, trees, they just grow stronger. Oh, rivers grow wilder every day. Oh, people, they just grow lonesome. Mm. Waiting for someone to say hello in there. Hello. Now me and my husband, we don't talk much anymore. He sits, he stares out the back door screen. Wow. And all the news just repeats itself like some forgotten dream. It's almost hard to pause this. Because you get so sucked up in the emotion of it. I forgot where I was, if I'm being honest with y'all. Ease yourself like some forgotten dream. We both see. Someday I'll go call my friend Judy. You know, you know, we used to work together at the factories. But what will I say? When she asks what's new, say nothing, what's with you? Nothing much to do. You know, old trees, they just grow stronger and old rivers. They grow wild, they grow wild and wilder every day. Old people, they just grow lonesome, mm -hmm. waiting for someone to say, Hey, hello in there. Hello. Wow. So if you're walking down the street sometime and you spot some hollow ancient eyes, don't just pass them by and stare okay. as if you didn't care wow. you say hello in there hey hello something with so much emotional like wow I love the turn that she made because I thought it was just like oh she's roasting this big girl coming down there but it was about the differences you know what I'm saying everybody has that you know what I'm saying um well I mean this was this was I don't know who wrote this like this was if she wrote this this is crazy amazing. Um, I loved it. Thank y'all so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on my social media platforms. Everything is in the description. Till the next video. Peace.